guys how are you doing just a quick video do you remember this from last summer or spring my white feather hosta they're at their best again mm. i love this plant here um, jack frost which is a common term uh, for brunera jack frost um, it's got some lovely light blue flowers on it next to some chives um, these white one here I mean it's very kind of it's the palest there's another one of the it's the palest of the uh, white feather that I have and it, it is very weak maybe it needs a little bit more green in it this is my favorite one though look how lush that is isn't it beautiful next to my garlic um, I've got my acer there which lost a branch I just snip it back here. It, it came. It, ca it came out that it was. It was dead. So I was not. Uh, I chopped that off. Got some type of aqua leachy here. Got these from the pound store. I'm quite pleased with them. I think they're beautiful. Um, what have I got going on over here? Oh yeah, just more of the same. I've got some very sad looking hookera there. Look, one leaf. I hope that it can pick up. I had these um, hookara in pots. Ah, oh, this one is picking up. See this little one here? I put the stones around it to stop me from trampling it to death. Um, yeah, this one seems to be picking up too. I had them in pots last year and they got some kind of little bug in it. And I ate them to death. Um, so I decided to uh, rescue what I had. There's another little bit there. And round there. I decided to rescue what I had and uh, try them in the ground. There's some more chives there popping out. I've got potatoes in this first bed this year. Um, there's two rows at the back, which are planted late, later than these, f these first three rows, so hopefully they will still come out. Uh, what have I got here? This one is a uh, lemon balm that needs to be dug up. And this was the potato bed from last year. Look at it. It's meant to be onions this year, but all these potatoes, I mean, you fork over thoroughly, but you always leave some behind. So obviously I'm not going to earth them up, I'm just going to let them be. And so I'm going to get an uh, onion and potato harvest all in one. Uh, what's going on up here? My, my little pots are looking, well, this one, looking wonderful at the moment. Very splendid. These two little poppy things, well, there was two, that's one of them over there dumped. Um, this, th th they've gone over, but these violas, they've got a little bit of life left in them. Um, yeah, things are starting to happen in the garden again. Um, what I really wanted to say was, uh, to all my regular viewers, um, people who comment, Something very shady happened last week because when I went back to look at uh, the video, which I sometimes do, just go over it, uh, comments were disabled. And let me assure you guys, it took me a little while to figure out how to enable those comments uh, again. And I did notice that uh, while trying to enable the comments, YouTube can switch them off. So I, I must conclude that YouTube did it because it certainly wasn't me. And I wasn't within that vicinity um, um, on the on the section where I can fiddle about with the channel. So it, it just it just wasn't me that did it. Um, and I know that a couple of times I've looked back on my videos after I posted them. Say for example, I've had 20 views. Um, it's been it, it then goes down to 17. So um, I think the powers that should not be do not like the content that I'm putting out, even though I get very minimal views. They do not want the message that I have to spread. So uh, I haven't said it before, but I'm going to start saying it from here on out. Please comment. Uh, please like, please share, please subscribe. Um, let's do what we can to uh, make the light shine in the darkness but uh yeah there's something just uh, uh, on the on the subject of law of attraction i wanted to talk about um, yeah, I'm meant 
to have a little bit of paper. Why can't I pause you? Let me put you on pause. Yeah, sorry. Um, it was this because um, I had been watching some Law of Attraction videos and people uh, had mentioned uh, how they'd asked to get a check in the post. And lo and behold, I thought I'd try it. And yes, look, I got a check in the post. It was a TV license check. <laughs> well, nobody can say that the universe does not have a sense of humour. Um, and I guess maybe tells me there, there's power there that's listening to me but uh, be specific because uh, I haven't watched a TV now in my, in my home for probably maybe nearly three years um, and, and they've left me alone till now but I've started getting letters the last how many months and they wanted me to verify whether or not I was watching TV but I just ignored them um, and they, and they uh, They've sent me a letter recently saying if I don't reply by the 20th of May, they're going to send inspectors around to my home, but they can do what they like. I shouldn't have to be accountable. I'm, I'm a sovereign being, and if I want to have a TV in my home, I will have one and I will pay a license. But I don't want one in my home and I'm not paying a license, and why should there be all this kind of flipping red tape over it? Uh, Big Brother is watching us, I suppose, at the end of the day, in every facet of life. But yeah, uh, here's two more uh, monetary checks and uh, I guess I need to start state, stating amounts and um, I'm confident I will get them. Alright, bye for now.